Good evening, I'm Elliot Domans with Teleco Village Broadcasting here with Laura Mason, who's the president of MACA. Laura, thank you so much for allowing us to be here tonight for this special one-of-a-kind juried art show. Welcome. We are so excited for this countywide event for our students of Monroe County. And this has been the planning child, really, of, of Alan, who we've interviewed before. Now, how did, how did you meet Alan, or how did he come to meet you and get this all worked out, all the arrangements? Alan is on the board of directors for MACA. Okay. And he had this vision of a student art show. And he took off with it. And uh, we were there to support him. And many of the things behind the scenes that probably will not be seen tonight. <laughs> but it all works together to bring off a big event. And of course, we're talking about Alan Sibley, who's vision for this particular juried art show has now become a reality. We're here tonight for the awarding of the different prizes in the different categories, but looking at some of this art, it's fantastic. I am amazed by the talent we have in Monroe County. All the schools are represented here from the county, and I think they've done a wonderful job. I'm here with the creator of this event, Mr. Alan Sibley, and it's not the first time that we've met, is it, Alan? No, indeed it isn't, and it's been a pleasure to see you again. Well, your dream is finally alive. It's here, right in front of us. Tonight is a very proud moment for you, I'm sure. Well, it's not just me. It's for the students of Monroe County. This is what I've done it for, and uh, to encourage creativity, to encourage art development in our county um, is most important. Of course, I couldn't have done this without the help of the students and also the art teachers of Monroe County that have been absolutely marvelous in helping me out here. But you must be thrilled to know that this is the night it's finally arrived all the artwork is in and the judging has been accomplished and Indeed. you must be very proud of this moment. I'm proud of everyone that's involved. Mac Monroe Council for the Arts has been a phenomenal um, interest and support throughout the whole year on this. Um, it's been important to continue this over the next few years and to encourage our young people to be creative in any field of expertise. Now, how has the reaction been from the students and their parents in doing this? It's all here. <laughs> I mean, just look at it. There's 400 pieces of art here from our students, from Teleco Plains to Venor to Monroe, everywhere in Monroe County, Madisonville, Sweetwater, it's absolutely fantastic. Just look at the creativity, all the art. There's a variety of art, subject matter, um, media. It's amazing. This is what it's all about. First, I want to thank Alan Sibley contacted me through email several months ago and said, would you be interested? And I said, yes. And I've done this a few times before in other states and other places where I've been. But I know for a fact as much time, and I didn't spend as much as, I mean, I was here for an afternoon, or in one other afternoon just to meet. This man I know worked himself to death, and he needs to be recognized. And would you applaud, please, for a Participated behind me for their wonderful flights of imagination and creativity. It really is quite an exhibition, and, and you should be proud of it. Thank you, Lauren. I do appreciate that. Uh, when I walked in and, and just started looking at all the exhibits, all I could think was, "Wow!" And what really blessed me was this is Monroe County behind us. And to my right and to my left, this is our students that's talents and skills are showcased tonight. And I'll be able to thank, and let's give them all a round of applause. I am so proud of what I've seen, and, 
And I couldn't imagine having the job of the, the juror tonight. I mean, I, I was just in awe. And I, I, I made my people's choice, but uh, I almost just covered my eyes and, and just picked. But uh, I just wanted to say thank you to the parents who support your child for these talents. Thank you for the art teachers at each school. I know you have challenges in your classroom each and every day, but thank you for encouraging these students to exhibit these skills that are behind us. Because I'll be the first to tell you I don't have these skills, but they do and they need to be showcased. So thank you teachers and thank you for what you do each and every day. Thank you Mr. Blankenship for allowing your teachers and thank you Principal Conley for hosting this event and thank you Alan Sibley for all that you've done. I know you've been the champion for this event and this organization from day one. Thank you and uh, thank you for coming out and I look forward to, to seeing the winners here in just a moment. I'd also like to thank, thank all the students that participated and Mr. Conley for hosting and all the art teachers that participated. I'm here with our local state representative, Lowell Russell, at the MACA Art Show at the Von Orr Middle School. And uh, Lowell, how have you liked the art show so far? It's great. It's a good way for the uh, students to bring out their creativity, and I think it's going to be very beneficial for the future of our kids and uh, having a real, real good time. Now, this is the first juried art show that's been held in the county, and uh, they say they got over 800 pieces of art. Yeah, it's pretty exciting, and I think that, uh, you know, it's a good start and look forward to future years. Well, we appreciate your coming here and taking time out of your busy schedule to see the art show and to have this interview with us. It's an honor to be here, and I would like to thank everybody that donated their time and their uh, uh, donations for make this possible, too. But thank you. Okay, State Representative Lowell Russell. Natalie Johnson, first place. Okay, we're here with one of the show winners. This is Corey Weigel. Corey, thank you so much. You do beautiful work. Yeah, I've put a lot of time and effort into I this stuff. I guess you have. Yeah. Now this is a lighted workbench. Yes, sir. That you've made from nuts and bolts and spark plugs and wrenches. Yes, sir. How long did it take you to mock this up and weld it? The table, it took me three months somewhere around three months. The chair took me two days and the bull skull took me a day and a half. And this is something, this bull skull here, you've got roller bearings for eyes, you've got roller bearings and, uh, and extensions for horns. And this took you how many days to make? A day and a half, sir. Day and a half. I worked on it for about eight hours uh, each day, somewhere around there. Now, do you have your own welding equipment at home, or do you do this all in the school? I do have some at home, but I do most of it in the shop at school. Okay, I'm here with Elijah Powell, and Elijah just got notified that he won Best of Show, People's Choice, with this particular welded flower arrangement that he created. How long did it take you to do this, Elijah? I'd say on tops, around 13 hours, sir. Okay. Where did you get the inspiration for this? I mean, there's a lot of involvement with the petals of the roses or carnations, whichever they might be. I just seen some pictures and thought I'd just try myself, <laughs> just try to do something myself. So you just got the idea from a picture. Yes, sir. And then you just started creating it, right? Yes, sir. Fantastic, I'll tell you. And the people must have really liked this because you are the People's Choice Award winner. Thank you. Congratulations, Elijah. This is a beautiful piece of work, and uh, you're to be congratulated for all the time and effort that you put into it. 
You've, you've got a great future as far as I'm concerned that I can see in working with metals. Thank you, sir. You're quite welcome. It's our pleasure. For